Hey Crusaders, I'm Matthew. And I'm Philip. and today we're going to have some segments on our third place montage, the No Shave November Contestant Roundup, a dress code skit, another LCN Crib skit, and a commercial for all the lonely beards out there. No Shave November is in its second week. Remember, all donations go directly to Link Crew. Mr. Duke, Jones, Papilla have all been cut last week. To keep your favorite teachers in the running, donate to them each week. Your front runners are Mr. Lady, Mr. Ekdal, Mr. O, and Mr. Medi. Don't forget to donate to the other teachers whose beards are obviously lacking. A reminder, the Key Club will be collecting canned foods for the rest of the week, so please get some cans and donate. Now we have our third place montage and the No Shave November Contestant Roundup. time ever that they made it to Fort Field. It is estimated that 81,000 attempt and fail suicide each year. Just as a hurtful word can do much damage, a kind word can brighten someone's day even more. Depressed? Watch Crusader Connection. Welcome to your No Shade November contestant roundup. You're welcome. If your favorite teacher's not here, then they weren't manly enough to even take a selfie. All right, new guy. We see you trying to grow that beard. Your new assistant principal, Mr. Stanley. It's his second year helping the band. And now he's trying to support noob beard. Mr. Meddy. <laughs> you want to learn how to sing? How about grow beard? Look at Mr. O. Have you seen a lady grow a beard? Fix the computers and grow one beards. That's a bearded lady, Mr. Lady. He completed his master's degree at Florida State while living with his grandma. Where she taught him how to grow a beard. Mr. Smith. This math teacher has a twin brother. Double the dukes, double the beards, Mr. Duke. Your freshman basketball coach is a beast. Let that beard out, Mr. Jones. I heard he played hockey somewhere in Oklahoma. What a surprise, a hockey player trying to grow a beard. Mr. Nader, an MSU fan with an EMU degree. Still green and white. He's tall, but can he grow a beard? Mr. Mandanin. He's tall too, and he already has a beard. No fair, coach. Coach Kiner. Rain, snow, sleet, or hail won't keep his beard from going the distance. He's going for speed, Mr. Hubbard. A U of M grad, still crying over the state loss. His beard may be scraggly, but he's still the heiress. Eric Dahl. If your favorite teacher's already been cut, then buy him a razor. <laughs> if not, make sure you donate to keep them in the running. Once again, all proceeds go to Link Crew. I love Link Crew. Don't forget about the dodgeball tournament this Thursday. In the first few weeks of class, we created various PSAs for the show. Here's one on the dress code starring myself amongst other cast members. Ow! Ow! Oh. Ooh, that hurts! See? Oh. Yeah, phew! Did you know that these gang colors are breaking the school dress code? No. Well, try this! Thanks, dress code. Now that's a responsible oh. student. Out. Hey! Did you know that that shirt needs to be three fingers? Three? Sure. Thanks, dress code. Hey, you should have this ammo belt that's against school dress code. What? Here's your sauce box. Here at LCN, your one only job as a student is to follow the dress code. Um. Thanks, dress code. LCN, your job is to follow the dress code. Then we have another take on the LCN crib skit. What's up, everybody? I'm C Bear. Welcome to my crib. Hi. 
So out of all these uh, cars, this is probably by far my favorite one with most memories in it. These really keyed marks show uh, that it has a lot of character. Got a lot of people uh, on bad sides, you know. Brand new side view mirror because that boy got it taken off. Right now I'm going to take you guys to my eating quarters. Right now I'm going to have a little get together with a few people here. Oh, dude, no problem. Anytime, bro. Yeah, so uh, we got the cafeteria set up right there. Free food for anyone who needs it. We got the people taking uh, the gas down. You know, you got to know who's coming in the crib. We got all the tables. As you can see, everyone's having a good time. So let's go on out and take you to another area. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my gym, you know. We got all these nice basketball courts here. And you know, this is where the greats train, like LeBron, you know, Michael Jordan, Kobe. They do a little one on one practice here with me. Alright, right now I'm just gonna go change my outfit real quick because you know, I'm feeling the need for a new one. So I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Now let's go check out some recording studios. Alright, welcome to my recording studio. I'm here with my main man, C-Roy, working on some beats. How's it going in here, man? What's up, man? How's it going, up? bro? Just working on some new stuff. Yeah, some fire yeah, eyes. Some uh, grinders pizza. Yeah, keep up the good work, man. Alright, here's my pool room right now, but... Pretty sure Michael, yup, Michael Phelps is in there right now training, so we don't want to disturb him. We'll, we'll try to come back later. Let's go to the weight room and check that out instead. Okay, now we're here in my weight room. We have some intense training going Jayden, what are you doing? with our personal trainer over here, Nader. So I'm here in my favorite room. You know, we tried getting here earlier, but it's finally unlocked, and this is where I spent a lot of my time training. You know, perfecting the art of wrestling. So hope you guys enjoyed my crib, and uh, see you guys next week. Last, we have a commercial for all the left out beards out there. Beards everywhere. These beards are abused. Neglected beards. Beards. Beards everywhere. We brought in a doctor to tell you all about the effects of beard abuse. Hi, I'm a doctor, and did you know that four to five beards are neglected every day? Did I mention I'm a doctor? These beards are sad. Ten cents a day can help these beards. Hi, I'm Elena Babel. One night I was watching TV, and I seen this commercial about saving beards. So hey, why not? I need a beard. So I got this beard. It makes me very happy. Without it, it would have been neglected, unloved, and just horrible. Hi, I'm Stephanie Brigo, and with your donations, you can help a beard find a home. Every penny counts, and if you or a loved one knows of someone who is in need of a beard, call this number. Stop beard abuse now. See you, See you next, next week, week Crusaders. Crusaders.